to Let's Go Live. It's episode 27, Mini Maker Week, and I'm Maddie. And I am Greg, and all together now, we, we are live. live! You can join us here in our spare room, live weekday mornings at 11 a.m. Today's show is all about floating. Yes. Uh, we have a quiz, we have lots of fun and facts, we have three votes for you to try to make yourself. Yeah, after all, this show is all about you. If you're watching us live, give us a big thumbs up in the live chat. Hello, everyone. Um, and if you're catching us later, hi, we hope you had a lovely day. Was it, you know, what, what did you get up to this morning? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see who is in the live chat right now and just give a few shout outs. Alrighty, let's see who we've got. We've got Melody in New Malden. Caitlin from Sittingbourne, hiya. Uh, we have got Florence and Jemima in Cumbria. Ella and Flynn in Worthing. We have got Saskia watching. Oh, lovely. Hi, Saskia. Uh, we've got Elliot and Maisie with Stu and Rach as well. Uh, Josh and Ben in Leicester. Hi, guys. Uh, Rosie in Essex. <laughs> we've got Isaiah in London. Hello. Uh, we've got Mia in Harrogate. Uh, Verity in Glasgow, who's watching for the first time. Hello. Verity, thank you for joining us. Hello, Where have you been? Hello, hello. You've got so much so to catch up on. So many people. <laughs> yeah, you have. You've got a lot of episodes to enjoy. So this week is Mini Makers. Uh, it's a collaboration with our maker friends at the brilliant Life Science Centre in Newcastle. Uh, uh -huh. Five days of building, tinkering, and most importantly, playing with your creations. Uh, yesterday, we showed you how to make ping pong cannons and also a fantastic game called a let's go bounce and you you all loved them and we've seen so many of your photos and videos coming in and they're fantastic they were, yeah they were absolutely amazing you yeah. tagged us on instagram and twitter and we watched so many of them yesterday and uh -huh. they were awesome so uh shall we show some yeah we'd love to share a couple of these videos with you so let's start with a video that came in from izzy and Margot. here it is <laughs> they had so much fun <laughs> playing with their ping pong cannons. Uh, next up, this was a video sent in uh, of Dylan. Here's Dylan. Whoa. Oh, even even the littlest can uh, enjoy a ping pong cannon. So lovely very, to see Dylan very there. Cool. Do you want another one? Yeah, let's uh, let's see how Esme managed to do. Ready. So impressive. I believe, yes, Esme managed to get six bounces on her DIY homemade bounce pads. I'm so impressed. They're so, so awesome. Uh, let's do one more and then we'll save some more for the end of the show. Right, okay. So here, this is uh, Evie and Sammy. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah! It's the Way. celebration. It's the we celebration. We love that the whole family got involved. And as that they didn't um, make their own bounce pads, they improvised and used pots and pans, which is such a genius idea. Being love resourceful. That. That's what we Absolutely. love. Um, let's chuck in a few photos as well. Let's start off with, this is Harry and Olive. Had lots of fun making their ping pong cannons and they aim them at their dad in the kitchen. <laughs> there you can see Harry in there. Poor dad. Uh, here's Sophia. She made a ball cannon and experimented with different sizes of bouncy ball. What a Ooh, great, nice idea. idea. Um, here is Annabelle and Ben. Uh, they made their own ping pong cannons and used them to shoot ping pongs at their dad while he tried to work. I see a theme here. You Me lot. too. Mm. And here's Eddie. He made ping pong cannons from yogurt pots and he also ambushed mum with them when she got home from work. <laughs> I think the parents might have suffered yesterday a little bit, you know. Sorry, grown ups. You either <laughs> suffered or got involved with lots of games. So, you know. Onwards then, some, you some. with floating. Mm -hmm. um, and the question, why do some things float and some things sink? Well, to find out, we're actually going to kick things off with a live action quiz today. We are going to play, will it float or will it sink? Will it float or will it sink? Will <gasps> float. it float? Sink. Will it? Oh, that sounds like a song I did for a certain, <laughs> certain BBC channel, but never mind. <laughs> Okay, all right. I was enjoying that dance this Thanks. morning. Okay. How's this going to work? Okay, so we have got a bowl of water here and I've got some different objects down by my side and I'm going to drop them in the water. It's a really simple quiz. All you have to do is let us know, either shout it out or write it in the live chat, whether you think it's going to float or sink. Hmm, got yeah? it. Just lots what of, lots of laughter, <laughs> laughter emojis at, at our what? little dance. <laughs> what are we like? Okay, all right then. So okay. ready to play? Ready to play. Okay, so first up. Oh, hang on, that means I can use this camera. We've got a new camera, guys. Oh, Look no, how lovely it, it is. Let's do it the whole camera like this. 
Oh, Ooh, look at this. Look at that camera. Okay, so first up, uh, we're going to try out a bolt, a metal bolt. Yep. So what do you think? Float or sink? Should we see? Yeah. It's going to... Hey, sink. Uh, you actually, it sort of disappeared in the bowl there, but I promise it that wasn't a magic trick. It is at the bottom. <laughs> okay, next one. How about, let me take the bolt out. Ooh, there it is. Why, let's, uh, let's try this one next. What do you think? Do you think the sponge is going to float or sink? Mm, what do you think, Greg? I reckon it's going to float. Yeah, great. There Easy, it is. Easy, It's going to float on top. But whilst we're playing this game, why don't you have a think? Why? Why did the sponge float and why did the bolt sink? Okay, next one. Yep. Uh, it's actually a spoon. A plastic spoon. A plastic spoon. Float or sink? Let's have, let's, uh, let's see. Floated. Oh, it is. The plastic spoon is floating. All Great. Right. Okay, let's take this spoon out. What have we got next? So if a plastic spoon floats, what about something that's the same shape? It's another spoon, but this time it's a metal spoon. Okay. What do you reckon? What do we think, you lot? I think, I reckon that's going to sink. Yeah, let's see. And three, two, one. Oh. Straight in. It definitely I love it almost vanishes at the bottom. Yeah, it is there. Look. That's I cool. I promise. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Um, okay, how about, how about this one? This one is a ball of plasticine. Okay. Ball of plasticine. Okay. Do you think it's going to float or is it going to sink? Hmm. So it's, it's modelling clay. It's a solid ball as well, I should say. Okay, here we go. And hey, straight to the bottom, yeah. it's sunk. But here's the thing, Greg. I have taken exactly the same amount of modelling clay. Gotcha. Exactly the same. Yes. And I have turned it, well, I've moulded it into a boat shape. Ooh. So it's the same weight. That's very important. Same weight. Same amount of modelling clay. The yeah. previous one sunk. Will this one float or sink? What do you think? Chuck it in the live chat, Ooh. yell it at the screen. Will it float or will it sink? Uh, what do you think? Cam. Here, Here it is. We go. And it floats. It floats. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. How did you do? Let us know. Let us know in the, in the live chat. How many of those did you get right? Right. So some heavy things like the bolt and the metal spoon yeah. sunk. Mm. Okay. Um, and the light things like the plastic spoon and the sponge floated. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. But why? Is it the shape of the objects? Mm -hmm. Well, the spoons were the same shape, but... The metal one sunk and the plastic one floated. So it can't all be about shape. Mm -hmm. Is it the weight of the objects? But then we had those two lumps of plasticine with the same weight, mm -hmm. but one of them sunk and one of them floated. So it's got to be both about weight and about shape. Yes, you're right. Well, actually, the reason something floats is down to something called density. So... Everything in the world is made of tiny particles that we can't see called atoms. And the density of an object depends on how heavy its atoms are and how closely those atoms are packed together. So if we were to zoom in on an object like the metal bolt right at the beginning, which instantly sunk, we would see that its atoms are both heavy and really closely packed together. So we would say that that object, the metal bolt, is dense, mm. okay? But then if we were to zoom in really closely on something like the sponge, we would see that its atoms are lighter, but also those atoms are more spread out. There's more space between them. So we would say that the sponge is less dense. Gotcha. Got it, okay. Um, so things will float on water, if they have the same density or are less dense than the water they are in. Got yes. it? Yes. All right then. So even though the plastic spoon mm -hmm. and the metal spoon are the same size and shape, mm -hmm. um, we can tell that the metal spoon is more dense yes. because it sinks yes. than the plastic spoon. And also we know that the plastic spoon is less dense than the water because it's floating on top of the water. You're getting it. You're getting it. Okay. It takes a while to get your head around this one. But what about the plasticine, right? right Why yes. did that one lump fall, fall down and sink and the other one didn't? Same amount of material. Yes. Right. So a heavy material like plasticine will sink when it's rolled into a ball because like this, it is more dense than water. But if you take the same amount of plasticine and you change its shape and you turn it into something like a boat shape, 
then it will float. So this is all because of the shape of that boat. So mm. like this, the boat is now taking up more space in the water, mm. okay? Which means it's pushing water out of the way. We actually say that it's displacing the water. Um, and when that water is pushed out of the way, more water from underneath is going to rush up into its place. And this is this action of moving water that is keeping this plasticine boat afloat mm. um but also when you did change the shape of the plasticine you kind of put some more air in it so the combination of this new plasticine shape with the air inside makes this boat less dense than the water it's in so it floats gotcha there we go all got right there. Density. we got there now yeah. we can play with density right mm. and we can show you how to make water float on water wow how does that work? This is uh, people requesting fact bombs, by the way. Oh, All right. okay. There you go. Just have a massive just, fact bomb for that, for the for that, for that explanation. Whole explanation of floating. All right, I'm going to give us another one. <laughs> that was a challenge. All right, we nailed it. Uh, so let's try to make water float on water. Now, mm -hmm. we are going to make uh, an ice boat. Um, can I take that, actually? Can I pop it here? Yeah, of course you can. There you go. You have that. My notes are not working today. Oh, no worries. Anyway, <laughs> so I have got a bowl of water here and we're going to show you how to make an ice, ice boat. Ice boat. Do you um, want to talk us through it? Well, you talk us through it. Let me just bring up the little camera so we can oh, okay. see um, your ice making boat. Making an ice boat is really simple. And this is how we're going to show you how you can make water float on water. What? How on earth do you do that? Um, really simple. All I did was, have I got, okay. I've just taken um, a little, it's a reusable cupcake case actually. Um, I put a blob of blue tack at the bottom and then I stuck a, a toothpick in it, filled it with water, and then I put it in the freezer overnight. It needs a flag. Oh, it does. Okay, so there you go. We've got uh, the first be, bit of our ice cream. That's going to be chilly. <laughs> no, oh, look, look. Whee! <laughs> no, what are you doing? Okay. Pushing it around All the table. All I've got to do to finish off and turn this into a boat is stick it. This is really slippery. <laughs> is stick a sail on it. There we go. Oh, I'm going to drop it. And there it is. We have ourselves a yeah. floating boat. We didn't practice that one, did we? We just trusted the science. Trust the We've science. We've kept them in the freezer until the very last minute. So why is this working? How can you freeze water and it floats? So when you freeze the water, the atoms that are inside it spread apart a bit. That's what happens when you freeze the water. They take up more space. So remember we said that the atoms that make up an object, when they're more spread out, they're less dense. Yes. Right. So now what we've got is the ice is less dense than the water and less dense things can float. Yeah. So the ice is able to float on top of the water. Ah, what you might notice actually is that as your ice boats melt mm, and that. turn back into, into liquid water, then actually your ice boats are going to start to sink. Here you go, look, I've just put on the nice camera so we can Whee! send them floating. This is fun though. You but should make your own ice boats. Here's the thing. Water isn't the only liquid that we can float things on. No, 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 no. <laughs> different liquids, you can float things on them, but different liquids have different densities. All so, right. right, I'm gonna get rid of that. Okie dokie, <clears throat> move this out we're to the side. We're gonna use this. Uh, we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you how to make a density column. Now yes. again, if we get through today's show without knocking something over and creating <laughs> an absolute mess, I'll be really surprised. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you how to make a density column. So, okay, whilst this. Greg is getting all the bits ready, mm. so to make a density column, you're going to need uh, some different kinds of liquids. And the idea is that you're going to work out which liquids are more or less dense than others, and you can layer them up. But if you do try this at home, uh, it's best to ask a grown-up to help you with this one. Uh, don't go all George's marvellous medicine on us, okay? Uh, you don't just want to be pouring any old liquids into a jar. So yeah, this is one to do with the family, definitely. All right, All right. so let's twist this. Twist this twist over here. Like Lovely. This. Zoom in. We're feeling super this. cramped today. Oh, we've got we've got too many cameras today. All right, <laughs> so hang on a minute. Let's also do that. So let me zoom out so you can see both of us. Hello. I was going to say, it was hi, a nice close-up on me there. Hi, hi. Right, so here's what we're going to do. We have, uh, we've already done some experimenting ourselves. So mm -hmm. we've found some liquids and we've worked out which are the most dense. And you want to put the most dense ones to the bottom of your density column. Yes. So first things first, we are going to make a density column in this little jar here. Lovely. Uh, we're going to use honey first because that is really thick. It's really dense. So the atoms in that honey are uh, kind of much yeah. closer together, right? So we're just 
don't know if you said this. I was thinking about cameras. Sorry, but when you are trying out different yeah, liquids, yeah, I've done that. Yeah, yeah. with the grown ups, we're good. Um, just do them in little little amounts. Oh, that as well. Yeah, because you don't want to go waste lots of liquids. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Right. Do little tests first. Right, honey. Now I'm going to use a spoon. Little tip here: use a spoon and pour it on the back of the spoon. Either way, to kind of more delicately put it down onto the next layer. Gently, because you don't want uh, go. the impact or the the crash, the splash of the next liquid to um, mess up those layers. So you do want to be nice and gentle. Oh, it's working, Greg. So already we know that the water with a bit of blue food coloring in it is less dense than the honey because it's floating on top of it. I'm really happy with that. Great. Okay, right. Um, you can see there. Oh, great. Well, you can't see it that well. Right, don't worry, I'm gonna show you it much better in a minute. Now, okay. last layer that I'm gonna do here is some vegetable oil, all right? Gonna pour in a bit of vegetable oil. Oh, you're going straight, oh, I oh, would no, use no, a spoon. No, 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 use a spoon, use a spoon. Again, you want to do it delicately because you don't want those layers to mix. <gasps> oh, that's worked <sighs> brilliantly. <sighs> Can't, these, speak, can't speak and do it at the same time. These three layers are actually, they're pretty solid, I would say. Well, they're not solid, they're liquid. No, as in they're foolproof. You <laughs> yes, know, you can't really go wrong. Mean. Definitely okay. not solid. Dude. So look, put that over there near near you on wow. your spot. This is Let me go back to the, so cool. your camera. <gasps> that looks beautiful. There it look is. At look at that. Right, so we've got honey, the most dense at the bottom. Uh, blue coloured water on top of that. Uh -huh. And then oil. But... <laughs> I spent a lot of time this morning making a, not a three layer density column, but a one, two, three, four, five, six layer density column, which I've we can to get show this you in. now. I've got to get this in so carefully. Okay, all right. <sighs> Don't you drop it. Don't you drop it. Don't drop it, Greg. Dun, dun, dun. Way. Oh, careful, it's careful, doing, careful. I've got it. Careful, got it. careful, got it. careful. All right, let me, got it. let me put it on the nice cam. You ready? There we go. I'm going to twist it Look around. at that. To a better bit. There we go. How is that? Let's That's make amazing. Sure it's nice and focused. Is that in focus? Have we yeah, got it? Yeah, good. Yeah? Okay, then. Um, so we have got many, many layers here. At the bottom, we've got honey. Then we have full fat milk. And then we've got dish soap. Uh, this layer has started to blend a little bit with the milk below it and the blue, uh, the water with blue food colouring above that. Then we have oil. And lastly, we use something called white spirit, which sometimes uh, people might use if they're doing building, but best not to play with white spirit. So again, don't go all George's marvellous medicine on us. Okay, but... so we want to have a little bit of a play yeah. with this, right? So we haven't tried this. And we have got a number of different objects and we want to see their densities, right? Yeah. What will they go through? What will they float on top? What will they sink through? So uh -huh. do you want to talk us through it? Yeah, so, we've, so let's, I tell you what, let's just start with something simple. So I've here, I've got, um, it's a metal bolt. Now earlier we found that metal bolts sunk, didn't, didn't we? Yeah. So whereabouts do you think that this is going to land within our density column? What is it more dense than and what's it less dense than? Will they sink Ready? through water? Will they sink through everything? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, go? right to the bottom. Where did it go? Did it? Right to the bottom. It is. Okay. So it's made its way all the way down to the honey. Okay. So that's what a, a little metal bolt will do. What about a peanut? What do you think? Oh, a peanut. What do you think a Hold peanut it forward a little bit. Oh, that lens. So I move everything that forward. That lens. No, it's, yeah, there you go. That lens okay. looks amazing, but it's got such a narrow depth of field. Okay. I'm going to drop in the peanuts and here it goes. Go. Oh, it's got. Oh, oh so it's, it's, it's stuck in so the dish soap. It's gone into the dish soap. So therefore, it <gasps> looks like... Yes. Is it slowly sinking down? It looks it like um, it is more dense than yeah. those layers above that it's sunk through, uh -huh. but it's less dense than the milk. Yes. Because it's gone on top of the milk. Okay, nice. Love this. Ooh, this is great. Okay, next one is a raisin. So what do you think? Uh, where do you think the raisin's going to land? Okay. We haven't done this, so this is no, fun. No, no, no. Okay, Go here it goes. It. Oh, what it's it? gone into the milk. Has it? Yeah. Okay, uh, next one is going to be a little bit of blue tack. Here, let's try the blue tack. There yeah. it is, just so you can see. Go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's gone right down. Has it? Is it gone yeah, down to the bottom? Oh, it's gone right down it's to the bottom. right down into the, uh, the honey. Okay, next one, popcorn kernel. Okay, and here it goes. Where's that? Oh, where's that? Where's that? I've where's got that? I have no idea where that's gone. Okay, and okay, we'll do the last one then. This yeah. is a little uh, cereal hoop. There, 
Oh, all good. At the top. <laughs> Floating at the top. Nice. Okay, so the zero hoof is the least dense it of is. all of them. Yeah. Have a go yourself if you want. See if you can make your own density column. Make a little one. Again, we've made a big one so that yes. you can see it on the camera. Try different objects. Mm -hmm. Play with that density and see where they all sit. Okay, I'm going to move this out the way now. Very, okay, very I'm gonna, gently. I'm going to take care of that. There we um, go. We've, only, we've promised them three boats and we've mm -hmm. only done one boat. What are we like? What are we okay. like? Okay. Um, so rather than continue playing with the density column, uh, next we're actually going to show you a type of boat that moves. Yeah, yes. I'm going to show you a moving yes. boat. Boat number two and boat number three are both going to be moving boats. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, cool. That involves this. Oh, we've got more cameras and more props today than we've ever had. <laughs> so Greg is just getting up um, a tray and we're going to put some water in that tray. Okay, let me go to my top cam. And we're going to show you how to make a soap boat. Okay, Alrighty. so let's put some water in here. What could possibly go wrong between the laptop and the microphone? Lovely. Think that's enough? Yeah, that'll do. That's all Maybe that we've, a bit more, as long as the whole tray's covered. Great. Great, perfect. All right, so to make this little soap boat, you need to take a piece of paper, like this, and then on the piece of paper, you draw the shape of your boat. Draw the shape of the boat, like... Really, really simple boat shape, almost with like a lolly stick in the middle. That's what we've gone for, right? Mm-hmm boat with this kind of shape in the middle and then you cut it out right great i'm not gonna do that to save us some time here's here's one maddie i made earlier <laughs> <laughs> here we go so i've cut out that bit in the middle yep right that slots in there now this goes on top of the water Ooh, like this yeah and you can see that it's floating it is floating the camera touch you can see it's floating now you use this other bit, right? This paddle for something clever. You take some dish soap and you put a little bit of dish soap, right? From the end of there onto the end of your paddle. Okay, mm -hmm. like. You only need a little bit, a tiny, like tiny little this. bit. Whoa. Thank you. Okay, like this, mm -hmm. okay, got it. Now you touch that, right? Onto the middle dot there and then pull it. Watch this, just watch, you ready? Just swipe it through. <sighs> it's like magic that works so well wow. that works so well do it again do it again uh, do it again spin it around and get it to come yeah, back yeah, the other yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. all right you can just about see that on the camera okay going again get it, it going towards you go um, oh nice ah. why does that happen i am so happy with that right why this is down to something called surface tension. Now, water is made of molecules and those water molecules uh, are uh, clinging onto each other. It's like they're holding hands, right? And especially at the top of the water, they're clinging on extra strong. Okay. Now that's called surface tension, right? Okay. And actually, uh, so we've got surface tension to thank, partly for things like, have a look at this, this is a pond skater. Ah, okay. That's so this, really cool. This pond skater is less dense than the water, so it is floating. Okay, but it's also using surface tension to help it sit and uh, skip as well along the surface of the water. I've got another picture of the pond skater. This, okay. this one's amazing. You can actually see kind of the dips at the end of its legs. Uh -huh. um, there where you can really see that surface yeah, tension kind like of holding rubber. it up. Wow. So um, surface tension. Very awesome, cool thing for a nerd. Love it. Um, but you can actually break that surface tension with soap. Mm -hmm. So when you put that soap into the water, it makes some of those molecules break that bond, oh, right? Okay. They, they don't cling together anymore. Mm -hmm. And it means that all the other ones kind of pull them apart. So when I put soap in the middle bit of that uh, soap boat, all the rest of the water molecules kind of pulled it they ran away. away. So actually they pulled it through the water. Oh, that's really um, so clever. So have a play. It's really good. Try different designs. Come up with yeah. your own designs of soap boat. Can't wait to see them. Yeah, try different materials as well. That's definitely something that you could have a play with at home. One little note though. Uh, once you've put soap in there a few times, you'll need to replace the water because yes. you will have broken that surface tension of all the water. Okay, all, all right. right, good. For, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Of, I want rid of this tray full of <laughs> right, water. Then. What could go wrong? Okay, so finally, we're going to show you how to make boat number three. Uh, this one is a mechanical moving boat. I'm just going to pick it up off the floor. Here it is. This is our paddle tub make. It's a really neat little make and when you've got it working it will chug along in the bathtub or in a bowl of water really really nicely um but to show you how we made this uh, we've got a little video for you here we go 
To make a paddle tub, you could use a margarine tub and lid, a second plastic lid, a yogurt pot, some strong water resistant tape, two lolly sticks, an elastic band, and a pair of scissors. Start with your margarine tub and tape one of the lolly sticks to the side. Flip the tub over and stick the other lolly stick on so that the two lolly sticks match. If they're a bit wiggly, fix them in place with some more tape. Get something like a yoghurt pot and stick it to the lid of your margarine tub. Find your elastic band and carefully twist it around the ends of both lolly sticks so it looks something like this. Next, take your second plastic lid and cut out a small rectangle. The rectangle will be your paddle and it needs to fit between the lolly sticks. Cut two slips in the paddle and slide it onto the elastic band. The paddle needs to be able to make a full turn, so it might need a trim. Flip the paddle and tape down the elastic band. You're all done and ready to set sail. To get your paddle tub working, all you have to do is wind up the paddle at the back around that elastic band, keep winding and go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then you plonk it in there and let it go. And then your boat should chug along. Um, we actually decided we wanted to put this to the ultimate test. So we filmed a little video in the bathroom. Here we go. <laughs> Here it is. Welcome to our bathroom. Uh, we've run a shallow bath. We've got the paddle tub. Let's give it a go. I've just got to work out which way to actually turn the paddle because I think if we go one way, it's going to push it along. Yeah, it will. If we go the other way, it's going to pull it. So I think we want to push it, so I'm going to go anti-clockwise. Oh, please work. Okay, you ready? And go. Ha! Let's go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me try it again, but this time I'm going to spin it clockwise. clockwise. You ready? Yep. <gasps> hey, it worked! That's so good! Woohoo! One more time. One yeah, more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so spinning it clockwise. Go. <laughs> Do you reckon it can handle a passenger? Oh yeah. Should we try it? I'm gonna go get one. Okay. Right, here you go. Here we go. That's so the... Hi buddy! If he falls in, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> it's a little... Oh, oh. it's not his mask. <laughs> oh, how will he see anything in the water? It's a little scuba guy. All right then. Okay, mask back on, mate. Should we just sit him here? Like yeah. that. I'm going to twist it quite a few times, this, this, this Yeah, show. wind it right up. Ready, and yes. go. <laughs> Slight steering issue. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Even more of a wind? Ready? Yep. Go. Oh, I made it all the way! That was the best Yes! Well done. Amazing nice. job. Well, that means it's just over to you lot. What are your paddle tubs going to look like? Back to you in the studio. Thanks, you two in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pleased when we got that working. So the margarine tub is a similar shape to the boat. Remember the plasticine that you shaped mm. into the boat at yeah. the start of the show? Um, so it floats because it's less dense than the water that it's pushing out the way, than the water that it's displacing. Um, and then this moving paddle at the back, you can, as you saw, you can turn it one way and it will pull the boat and turn it the other way and it will push the boat. Yes. We want to let you into a little mm. secret. We should, should we tell them? Yeah, let's tell them. Um, the reason we were really happy that <laughs> this worked in the bath is because this was not the first boat it we wasn't. made. It wasn't, no. no. Let's, let's show you the first boat that we made and we can compare the two. You it's, might notice um, yeah. quite an obvious difference. And that is that a boat, paddle tub boat number one is actually upside down. So when we made it this way first, we found without that flat base, Actually, it was really tricky to keep steady and balanced in the water. And because of that, we had to make lots of changes to it. Which was really fun. So we did a lot of tinkering, yeah. right? our favourite word. Um, first of all, we put blue tack on there to kind of weight it in different ways. Yeah. Um, then I think I had the idea of putting lollipop sticks out the side. Yeah, we had stabilisers. To kind of stabilise it. And then you had the even better idea of swapping the lollipop sticks for... Yes, balls. and actually we did get this working, but it never, it was never spot on for us. No. But it wasn't until we stopped tinkering and stepped back and went, hang on a second, it's upside down. And that's when we made the new one. 
But there was something really interesting about this, and that is that we learned more and we had just as much fun mm. making the wrong one. This one came together pretty easily and it just worked. In fact, making the wrong one, yeah. each time we had what we would call a failure, yeah. right, where normally you'd be like, oh, that's not working. That was the best moment because mm -hmm. we were able to work out, what can we try next? Lollipop sticks. What can we try next? Yeah. Balls. And then and then it led to this one. So don't be afraid to make mistakes because actually it can lead to really interesting findings out. Mm. Yeah. We are really looking forward to seeing your paddle mm -hmm. tubs yeah. uh, if you if you go and give it a go. I wonder what they're going to look like. Yeah, same. <gasps> um, we're actually coming towards the end of the show, but before we go, we do love to see a couple before more of your we photos. sail on out of here. Sail away, sail away. <laughs> okay. Should we see some photos? Yeah, okay. All right, okay um, cool. Let's see, let's see Phoebe. Phoebe, she made cannons for her whole family. They had great fun shooting the balls and she dresses a frog because frogs are bouncy. <laughs> they sure are. Here's Sebastian and Matilda. Uh, they didn't have any ping pong balls at home, so they improvised using some small teddies. Oh, poor teddies. Um, Florence, she made her own game using the ping pong cannon where you have to shoot the ball in different into different holes. Uh, here is Alfie and Maisie. Uh, they didn't have any paper cups, so they used toilet roll tubes instead. And then they placed various objects up the stairs and had a competition to see how many they could get their ping pong balls into. Love that. That's a really great idea. Yeah, and if, if you miss your target, the ball will bounce back down to you so you don't have to go and fetch it. Genius. Clever. Genius, love um, that. And then here we have Arjun. Arjun had a go at making his own ping pong cannon and he also made a balloon kebab. Yeah, nice cool. one. Uh, last photo, Iris and Connie. Uh, they made these ping pong cannons. Look how happy they are. They fire <laughs> them into a washing basket as a target. Lovely. Um, let's just end on a couple of videos because boy, oh boy, did you make us proud. You really, really impressed us uh, yesterday, I have to say. Uh, this is a video of James who used pots and pans for Let's Go Bounce. Wow. <laughs> Seven. We can hear that little giggle that in the chuckle? background. <laughs> oh, we're convinced that the only reason James didn't get more is because they ran out of pots and pans. Yeah. Um, that was seriously impressive. So good. Uh, and here we've One got yeah, Jude Zebra and the whole family. Oh, this is wonderful. Here you go. The ultimate celebration there. Um, oh, we, we saw loads more on Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for tagging us on Twitter and Instagram with all of your uh, videos of Let's Go Bounce yesterday. And um, we should say, it's not just about getting the most number of bounces, no. right? That's obviously impressive and that's amazing, but it's it's more about the fun you have. It's about doing it with other people. Um, and also it's about putting your own personality into yes. it, right? Like we saw people, like we saw those lot playing with teddies or trying, or, you know, doing targets. Like it's about those little twists. Mm. We love them. But if you want to send us photos of your makes or even videos of yourself playing with them, then uh, please get a grown up to email us at hello, let's go live at gmail.com. There, there it is. is. There it is. Um, it's actually coming towards right to the end of the show now, uh, but we're going to reveal next week's theme. Before that, can you see what the live chat is just yelling at us? Okay, all right. Selfie, but, selfie, selfie, selfie. We, yeah, Thank we, you. We, <laughs> Thank you. So we a lot to remember it? today. More cameras and more props than okay, you can... Okay, all right then. Right, so uh, we'll do a selfie. Okay, all right. There are so many comments. Thank you, you lot. You've got our backs. You lot are awesome. Okay, I've got the paddle tub here. Okay, I've got the density column. It's not really fair. You, you, you spent a lot of time on this. Oh, so thank you, you. You be that in the photo. Turn I'll... it so it's paddle. So it's paddle side. Up. There we go. Like that. I'm so it's hold not both just a butter advert. One. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And all right. well, hang on. Hang on. Ready? Yeah. We've got to sing as well because we didn't sing yesterday. Did we not? No, we got in trouble. <gasps> all right. And. It's your good selfie. selfie. Wow. Oh, the tune changed. You nailed all good <laughs> there, Greg. <laughs> you lead it. I'll join in. It's your good selfie. I forgot the song. <laughs> anyway, we are. Let's now. Thank you for that. Right. Now it's time to reveal our next theme. Okay, you ready? Drum roll, please. Oceans. Oceans. <gasps> Yes. yes. This is lots of people have been like, can you do oceans? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can do oceans. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the thing. Yes. Oceans isn't going to be starting next Monday because we're actually going to take a week off. Yes. Or four days off because yeah. Friday's a bank holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, 
patrons. We put a video up about this on Patreon, so check your emails, go and watch that. Yeah, like we just need a little bit of time to catch up on some other work mm. and there's live stuff to do, but mm. don't worry, it's just four days off from Let's Go Live and we cannot wait to get started with Oceans the following Monday. It's going to be awesome. No, you lot are super important. So we will be back yeah. a week on Monday with Oceans. I'm really looking forward to taking a, a dive into the deep blue. But before that, we do have one episode left of Mini Makers, and that is sound. Things are going to get noisy tomorrow. Sorry, grown-ups, <laughs> in advance. <laughs> yeah. um, right, who is in the live chat? Let's say a quick uh, hello and goodbye to a few people. Freddie uh, and William, hello. Dara and Demi in Wales. Ethan, Sammy and Izzy, hiya. Ewan and Rory in Hoylake. Alana and Aaron in Bedford. Uh, oh, Amos, Immy, Ruben and Arlo in Market Harbour. That was a hard one to <laughs> and read. And Willow in North Shield. Lovely to have you all with us. Thank you. Um, we will see you tomorrow at 11am. Yes. As always, please do subscribe and stay, stay curious. curious. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for the final day of Mini Makers. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. Have a fun afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow at 11am. Bye. Bye.